all right welcome back to another g auto repair video and today we are going to be talking about this this is the third video i do on this and today we're going to put it to the test and what i have here is a 2005 honda odyssey with a known not known but confirmed blown head gasket forget about maybe maybe not this is this bad boy is gone so i'm going to use this as an opportunity to put this to the test that i've been kind of uh curious about so i've done two other videos and i was kind of like how does this work i don't see the theory behind it things of that nature so today we're going to see if it really does work and we're going to compare it to the old traditional uh leak test uh, uh this uh, blue juice here that we get from the parts store and my son will be helping me out with the recording so i'm going to go ahead and start the car let it start warming up i'm going to give him the camera and then we're going to get right into it Got a really bad misfire. And uh, um, let's go back here. There should be there was some smoke coming out. Yeah, there it is. We got some smoke coming out of the tailpipe. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there it is, and it gets a lot worse. So that's one of the symptoms of a uh, blown head gasket. So the story of this van is that it got involved in a very minor accident. Minor. And uh, it was hit here in the front. And this crushed the radiator right here. And it leaked out. And whatever happened after that, I'm not sure. But it was brought to me to put a new radiator on. Which I did. I put the new radiator on. A new condenser. And now the car has a very bad misfire after I finally got it turned on because the battery was super dead. And, uh, and uh, the battery was super dead. And after I started and ran for a while that I warmed up and I, get, I guess the cooling system pressurized, then I started seeing that, that problem. So as you can see here, we have some some pressure coming out of this I can feel it right there so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the, the, the traditional leak tester first to make sure that it is in fact working so we're gonna come over here and uh, we're gonna put it up to the line we have fresh fresh uh, liquid <clears throat> nice and blue. Let me shine my light on it. No, we can see. Can you see it really good there? Yeah, real good. Nice and blue. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at the trail of smoke coming out the back there. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start just drying the vapors out we don't want to draw no cooling or anything we're gonna do this here for a minute or so and as you can see it's yellow can you see it there a little bright but yeah real nice can you see there again yep yellow so this is detecting combustion gases in the cooling system as a matter of fact you can see there's no smoke coming out okay so if this turned colored 
this has to turn colors. This is the CS engine test. It says real time leak tester. There's a little gauge here that says no leak, moderate, high, very high. So I'm expecting to see this in the pink. And uh, if you watched my other videos on this, I really don't understand how this is supposed to work. Um, there's some instructions here that tell you to, you know, stick it in the radiator, put the cap, drive it around, put the cap on it, drive it around for a few minutes, and then check check the color. So as we can see here, is a brand new in the pack, never been used. Okay. Sealed. And we pull it out, and here's a test. We got this little yellow liquid inside. This is a sealed packet. And it's got this long string here. So you're supposed to stick this in the radiator uh, neck. Fold it over and then put the cap over it. And the cap's supposed to hold it so it won't get sucked in there. And it's supposed to get uh, in there with the water and the stuff. I don't understand how this works. But we're going to try it out. We're gonna stick this in there. I wonder if I should add a little bit of water in there. Just to make sure it's touching the water as well. Let me add a little bit of water. Uh, apologize, it's kind of late. We're busy today. So you see a little bubble there. That's another sign. I'm gonna put my headlight on there. Uh, we want to be careful. Technically, this is supposed to be off. It's not that hot. I'm not going to tighten it all the way. I don't want it to build up pressure because then it's going to start. So I'm going to go rev up the engine step back. Uh, step back. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> well, <laughs> it didn't change colors, so. though. <laughs> that was funny. It's funny, but it's dangerous. Oh, man, I don't know what that was about. I had it in there. I don't know how it shot out. That's why I told you to step back. I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> oh, something blew up. Oh. And this is nice and hot, so. It's a scam. Yeah, it's. Seems like a bunch of malarkey if you ask me. Still yellow, hasn't changed colors. And it was there for a, for a couple, for about a minute or two before it got shot out. The bag is pretty warm too. 
So it's gotten heat. It's in contact with this vapor. I mean, I don't know what the deal is with this. This is, a, this is a gimmick. It's sealed in a bag. It's sealed in a bag. That's what I say. I don't, I don't, I don't understand the science behind it. If you try to go to their, and I mentioned this in the other video, but if you go to their, uh, what you call it, their website is in, I don't know what language, so that's no problem. Let me try putting the cap on this again. Somewhat. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, things happen in the field, so we're gonna leave that for a minute or two more to see to give it the benefit of the doubt. But you guys see the the old traditional league tester tested positive. There's no doubts about it. There you go. Let's uh can you see that really good there on the video? It's a little glary, so just move it a little. Let me see what I can. And you can you can see it's blue. I mean, obviously it's blue, but it's just dark blue. And this is yellow, so I mean, there's no doubt it is positive. This worked. This has not worked yet, and this is expensive. Each one of those packets, I think, is like $15, uh, if I remember correctly. This bottle costs about $10, and you can do a whole lot of tests with that. This is a one-time use, of, allegedly, 15 bucks, and it doesn't even work. Look at all the smoke coming from the tailpipe. Oh, watch out. Yeah, that bad boy is gone. Yeah, you don't want to breathe that stuff in. Alright, so now I'm going to take this out. Let me see if they're shooting. Actually, there is. <clears throat> Let me, uh... Let me stand a couple more feet back this time. This guy's still there. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Garbage. I think it did change a little bit. Lightly. It's still sealed. The little pouch didn't rupture or anything, at least that I can tell. But the color's still yellow. <laughs> same color so there you have it folks do not buy whatever this crap is it's useless it's a bunch of junk it's a gimmick I, again this is the third video I do on this and now this is confirmed that this is junk this works better this works way better than this and it's cheaper and it's cheaper 15 bucks it was 12 or 15 but I don't remember how much I paid but it was way more than that for a single use so all right I'm just gonna wrap it up here there's uh, no sense in beating this horse anymore 
uh, like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram now, G dot repair, G G dot auto dot repair, and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys there on Instagram as well. Thanks for watching again. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Ciao.